What are the markets saying and doing right now? I think it's important to give the, the background to how we got here. So, you know, Liz Truss's bankers budget full of tax cuts for the richest few and big business, you know, that caused serious instability in the financial markets. But it came after years of economic incompetence causing instability in all of our lives. And, and we have been made poorer as a result of this government's choices. And a change of chancellor, you know, won't change that. We still have hollowed out public services, uncapped bankers bonuses uh, and plans for benefit cuts um, and at the same time you know what's just happened is it is a powerful reminder of the power of the financial markets over our system our political system uh, and we've seen you know the Bank of England and the Treasury pulling in completely opposite directions over the last few weeks which is a really important reminder of how dysfunctional economic policy making has got in this country you know, we have a cost of living scandal where millions are struggling to cover the essentials and economic policy has literally made that worse. Mortgage payments going up, cost of imports going up, food, energy prices, um, etc. And we've seen this standoff between the governor of the Bank of England and the chancellor. And, you know, today we've seen the kind of governor has won, the chancellor's gone. Uh, good that we've had a U-turn on, on some of the awful policies in the bankers' budget, but we still have the same approach. Um, and I think there's some important questions to be asked about the accountability of the central bank. Um, so, you know, in terms of where we are now, financial markets still have a lot of scepticism in the, in the Liz Trust approach, of which she kind of seems to be wanting to continue apart from the important corporation tax u-turn um, but we also have the bank of england pursuing its kind of tightening uh it's it's looking to start thinking about reversing uh quantitative easing at the end of this month and so it's also playing its part in laying the foundations for financial instability